After five days of looking through hundreds of bodies, Ramos says he never found his dad. These are bodies piled in open shipping containers outside a hospital in Guayaquil, Ecuador, the country's second largest city. The person who shot this video shared it with CNN. And if just watching the video is difficult, imagine going through those containers in person looking for your dad's body. That's what Arturo Ramos says he had to do. One in the top of each other, one crossing each other. It's really devastating. On March 31st, his dad, Flavio, couldn't breathe. After being turned away at 10 different hospitals because they were full, Ramos said his dad was finally admitted at the 11th. Flavio was placed in a wheelchair like this one and taken to a room with no bed. There were two dead bodies already inside. It's like a war zone. It's like a war zone. There's a lot of people dying and no one's taking care of them. Flavio died the next day. On his death certificate, it says he died of acute respiratory failure, likely due to COVID-19. But like so many others in Guayaquil, Flavio was never tested because the healthcare system has all but collapsed. The hospital wouldn't comment on Flavio's case, but CNN has spoken to multiple doctors who say in March and April, hospitals citywide buckled under the weight of the pandemic. Their facilities were overwhelmed almost immediately after the outbreak began, doomed by a lack of staff and supplies. The three doctors we spoke to suggested dozens of patients simply died in their cars outside of hospitals awaiting treatment. In this video obtained by CNN, a man dead in his car was pulled out and laid in a hospital parking lot by his family, the group simply unsure what to do next. The federal government has apologized for its pandemic response and, stating the obvious, said they weren't ready for an outbreak with a staggering death toll. In March and April combined, in 2018 and 2019, an average 2,799 people died in Guayaquil. Experts say that's about what you'd expect. But this year, that number spiked to at least 12,350. Of those, the government has confirmed just 533 were due to COVID-19. So what explains the fact that thousands more died over the same two-month period this year? There's no doubt that the additional thousands and thousands of deaths are COVID-related. Totally. For me, are COVID, unless proven otherwise. Three epidemiologists told CNN Guayaquil's actual COVID-19-related death toll could be higher than 9,000. The government has acknowledged the virus death toll is far higher than what they officially report, but say its lack of ability to test more means we'll never know the exact figure. When Arturo Ramos went to collect his father's remains, hospital officials couldn't find them. He says he had to search on his own, both in the morgue and in these shipping containers. And after five days of looking through hundreds of bodies, Ramos says he never found his dad. I couldn't go anymore. Uh, mentally, mentally, I wasn't like 100%. The government didn't respond when asked about Flavio Ramos or the shipping containers, but say many families are still missing dead loved ones. Last month, the attorney general launched an investigation into the mismanagement of remains at hospital morgues, and anyone can go to this government website and type in the deceased name to see if there's any news. More than a month after he died, a search for Flavio Ramos ends in no results found. Arturo grieves for his dad alone these days. He's separated from his family because last week he tested positive for coronavirus. The overall case number is dropping in Guayaquil, but for so many, the worst parts of this outbreak will never really end.